In this video, I'm going to walk through how you can use Creative Fabrica Studio to create some coloring book pages and other types of designs. So here I am on Creative Fabrica Studio. I'll put a link to this in the video description below. And then you click either create a design up in the top right, or you can click start designing right in the middle. This takes you to the main page of Creative Fabrica Studio. Now just a heads up as we get started here, the link in the video description is an affiliate link and that just means if you purchase the Creative Fabrica subscription, I would receive a small commission. Now inside of Creative Fabrica Studio, there's a button right here and it's called Creative Fabrica Flow. I'm gonna click it. Okay, so when you first get into Creative Fabrica Flow, you're going to see a text prompt here in the middle. You'll see a couple little buttons over here that are styles and types and then you're gonna see these generated artworks by others. I'm not gonna worry about the others right now. I'm just gonna start off here with the text prompt and I'm going to type into the text prompt, a cat wearing a top hat coloring page, line art coloring page, coloring book outline. So I recommend you start with that. It will give you suggestions as well. And if you click on it, that will add it to the text. So since I've already typed that in, I'm not gonna worry about that. Now you're gonna go over here to the right and the type, you're gonna choose full render. And then for the style, you're gonna choose magic style. Once you've got those two selected, select this arrow button right here, and you're gonna click that to generate the image. Now it totally depends on how many people are also inside of Creative Fabrica Flow. Here we can see there's 303 people online, 304 online, and so the more people online, the longer this will take. It could take a couple seconds, or it could take a couple minutes, depending on the number of people. Okay, and we can see here the results look pretty good. There's no color inside. Sometimes the color will pop up, but overall I think these are pretty good to use if you're creating your own coloring book pages. So you just click the little download picture button, that'll download it as a PNG file. One thing that you can do as well, is you can scroll down through the list of people's artwork. Here's one right here, for example, that I did not create. I'm gonna click on it. And you can see here in real time, this person is actually creating artwork. I can kind of spy on them. I can look at what they're creating and I can see how they're creating it. So if I like this sort of drawing, I can see exactly what text prompt they used and I can see exactly what their style is that they used. That looks really cool. So this person's creating this here in real time and I'm kind of watching them from the sidelines. I can also click on this picture and I could download it as well. So do keep in mind that as you publish your designs, as you download things, it will pop up here in the feed and other people can look at it as well. Here's a cool one down at the bottom I'm gonna click on. So here we can see the user, we can see their text prompts, and we can see exactly how they're creating it using the style buttons that we all use. Now, if you really wanna do a deep dive on what's created by others, you can simply click this little expand button right here on the right hand side. You'll see a huge list of drawings and they continue on and on. So if you like something here, simply click on it and you'll see it pop up, the username and how they're creating it. And you can have a lot of fun looking through different designs and seeing exactly how people are creating things. It's really good if you're interested in learning how to create cool images using AI. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using Creative Fabrica Studio. So click on that link, sign up today and have some fun. Here's another video that showcases the power of Creative Fabrica Studio.